Okay. This should be the last part. We're going to talk about the Tea Partiers and the Occupiers. The Tea Partiers, who have been called terrorists, racist, extremists, they've been holding the government hostage, they've been acting like blah, 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 blah. all that bullshit. Okay? They've been called every word in the book. People from the Occupy crowd have been caught shitting on police cars. Now, it is a crime to touch a police car. And there have been people arrested for kicking police cars and stuff like that. Now, there was an asshole caught taking a shit on the American flag. Now, taking a shit on the American flag, even though we don't agree with it, is protected by the courts as free speech. Here's the punchline. If your community has an ordinance against shitting in public, and I hope they do, you can be arrested not because you shit on the American flag, but because you shit in public. Burning the American flag. Burning the American flag is protected by the Constitution. However, the fire department has fire codes, and the fire code is not incorporated into the Constitution. The fire department can tell you anything they want to tell you if they think you're jeopardizing public safety. So the fire department can say, listen, did you get a permit to set that fire? No. You burned an American flag, but you did not have a permit to burn the American flag. Therefore, you can be arrested for violating the fire code for lighting a fire without authorization. There have been several rape allegations with the Occupy crowd. The rape has not been proven yet. There's been no video footage of the rape. And no one has been convicted of rape yet. But there was still that allegation, which should be investigated. Because, you, you know, we want these things investigated. Security personnel in Occupy Wall Street areas, you know, the, the, the office buildings or the residential buildings, have been asked to escort people to and from the buildings because the occupied people are shitting, pissing, and masturbating in the street. Now, when you take a sh when when you masturbate, okay, first of all, what you do behind closed doors is your problem, not mine, okay? When you find yourself masturbating in the middle of a public street, okay, we have reached a new definition of scumbag. Now, the same exact people, the same exact people, they might be politicians, they might be media people that have come out bashing the Tea Party. They, they call them every fucking word in the book, the Tea Party. Those same people have literally not said one thing about the Occupy crowd. Here's another thing. The Occupy crowd has been mm -hmm. caught this is still in the rumor phase. It's slowly moving from the rumor phase to the truth phase. It's going to be proven soon, hopefully. The Occupy crowd has been handing out flyers about when it's okay to kill a police officer. You know, there are certain times when you should kill a police officer. The cop killer might be the good guy, and the police officer might be the bad guy. Some police officers deserve to be killed. That is a threat to officer safety. That is encouraging people to kill a police officer, which is a first degree murder in my state. Okay? Why the fuck is that tolerated? Why isn't the media reporting on that? If one Tea Party out of 10,000, out of 10,000, had a sign that said, fuck the police, and that one person out of 10,000 would have been asked to leave the rally by the other 9,999. The media would put that photo of that fuck the police sign on the front cover of every newspaper in America. But why is it that if there's a literature going around saying it's okay to kill a police officer, they deserve it. Why is that not being condemned? I'm condemning it now, obviously. I have family members that are police officers. I don't want them to get fucking killed. A friend of mine is a New York City cop. 
I don't want to make a fucking kill over this shit. Why is that not being condemned? You you could be arrested just for fucking saying that. You know, if you're on scene and you say, you know, someone should kill these fucking cops. Just for saying that, if an officer hears it and he feels threatened by it, he can arrest you. Just for saying it. Because that, that's a threat to his safety. He can arrest you and he should fucking arrest you. He should arrest you. I would. If I'm a police officer and you say someone should kill these fucking pig cops. Let me tell you something now. Your ass is under arrest. If I'm in the area, you might as well put your hands behind your back because you're under arrest. You better pray to God I'm not a cop in that situation because I will fucking arrest you. You do not have a constitutional right to threaten a police mm -hmm. officer. Let me check my time again, please. I'm way under. We're going to talk about Al Sharpton now. Because, you know, talking about anti-Semitism, you got you to gotta throw Al Sharpton in. You know, now that Adolf Hitler is dead, you got to talk about Al Sharpton. You know. Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton has said more shit about Jewish people than Adolf Hitler. Okay? He has said more racial shit about Al Sharpton, I mean, about Jewish people. He's called them every racial Jewish slur in the book. Now, if John McCain or Sarah Palin or Sean Hannity or Rush Limbaugh came out with an anti-Semitic remark, they would be condemned they would, they would be thrown out of their job, whether their job was senator, whether their job was TV personality, they would be thrown out of their job. Because racial slurs, even though they're protected by the Constitution, are not protected by your employment. Now, Al Sharpton is considered a civil rights leader, okay? Calling Al Sharpton a civil rights leader is like calling Adolf Hitler a population control specialist. I'm gonna kill that fucking fruit fly. There was an incident a few years ago, a few years ago, where a man ran over a child. And if you want specifics, the man was Jewish, the child was black. Now, I don't know why the man ran the child over. It might have been one of those freak accidents where you're driving along and a kid darts out in front of you and gets hit. It might have been the man drunk. It might have been the man running away from the police. I don't know why, but this man hit a child and killed the child. I honestly don't know why, because I don't know why I'm not gonna condemn the man. I, 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 I just don't know, and I don't believe in condemning people when I don't know what's going on. Now, Al Sharpton, let a riot, he didn't lead a protest, he let a riot into a Jewish community. He specifically targeted a Jewish community. He didn't go into a neighborhood and there happened to be Jewish people there. He specifically targeted a community where there would be Jewish people. And a Jewish man was stabbed to death. Now, let's assume that the man involved in the car accident ran the kid over deliberately to murder him. That has nothing to do with the other man who was stabbed to death. Okay, it's, it's like when September 11th happened. September 11th was, called by, was caused by Islamic extremists. Now, if I went to a mosque and I grabbed a Muslim man and I killed him, in reprisal for September 11th, that is called a hate crime. It's called an assassination. Okay, it's first degree murder. It's usually punished punished by the federal government as opposed to the state government. And it should not be tolerated. No racial crime should be tolerated. I don't care if you target a black person, a Jewish person, a gay person, a Muslim person. No, no hate motivated crime should be tolerated, period. Check my time again, please.
Now, our, our friend Al Sharpton deliberately led that riot into that Jewish neighborhood. And as a direct result of that, a man was killed. Murdered, okay? It wasn't like that an accident. He was murdered. He was stabbed to death. Now, there are several things you have to talk about, okay? Usually when you commit a crime, your accomplices are considered accessories. There are some states that don't consider your accomplice an accessory. They consider your accomplice just as guilty as you. It's called the hand of one is the hand of all. Now, if Al Sharpton led a riot into a Jewish community and a Jewish man was stabbed, that is first degree murder, that is a hate crime, and it is felony murder. Now, felony murder as opposed to misdemeanor murder. Felony murder means I committed a felony, inciting a riot. And as a result of me committing that felony, someone died. If you take a plastic gun and you go to a store and you rob the clerk and the clerk has a massive heart attack and dies, that's felony murder. If I've robbed the bank and I'm getting away from the robbery and I have a car accident and someone dies, that's felony murder. Because I'm committing a felony, bank robbery, and as I'm escaping, I kill someone. Okay? If you lead a riot, and as a result of you leading a riot, an innocent person is deliberately murdered, that is felony murder, first degree murder, cons conspiracy, okay? Every single solitary rioter should have been charged with murder. Every single solitary rioter, rioter should have been charged with murder. Al Sharpton wasn't charged with anything, I don't think. Okay? I wanted to talk about the rioting and the anti-Semitic. That goes hand in hand. Okay? Because it only takes a spark. Okay? And these Occupy guys that are walking around with anti-Semitic signs saying the Jews this and the, the evil Jew Zionist bankers. What happens when a nutcase goes to a bank See the bank employee with the Jewish name and kills him. Check my time again, please. These are very, very dangerous times, my friend. Okay? You always have a right to free speech, even if I don't agree with you. You always have a right to peacefully assemble. The, sec the First Amendment was made because our founding fathers did not want the government to punish us for peacefully disagreeing with the government. Our founding fathers did not give us the right to assault police officers, did not give us the right to rape women, did not give us the right to start fires, and did not give us the right to start hate crime, race wars, okay? When you talk about the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, Freedom of religion, freedom of the press. Three things, one amendment. Okay? What happened to a Jewish person's right to practice Judaism without worrying about someone trying to kill him for a reprisal for what another Jewish man did? What happened to a person's right to practice Judaism on, 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 at synagogue on Saturday without worrying about some fool coming out saying the evil Zionists are going to take over the country. And it's another fucking point I gotta make. The same people that go ape shit when I wanna buy a gun, I said I wanna buy a gun. The same guys that call me an extremist wanting to buy a gun are the same guys that protect the rioters' constitutional right to kill police officers, to set fires, to flip cars, and to rape people, and to loot and pillage. Think about that. Think about what the First Amendment really means and think about how you can use it and abuse it. And what is right and what is wrong. Nailed it.